Hello, friends, and welcome. You are watching episode number two, number two of our production line, Portland Motor Company Let's Play. My name is Sean, and I'm glad you're here with me this morning as I play some video games. Keep in mind, production line is an early alpha game that is frequently updated, so remember there might be some bugs, and there will definitely be changes and improvements over the course of this series. But let's get into the gameplay. When we left off, we had just built up our new painting area, huh? It's so new, we still have cars going through the old painting area, so I'm going to clear all that out as we get started here. Look at that, they're just lined up waiting to get painted. Still, still, game's still working on balancing the, <laughs> balancing the cars out and stuff properly as they go through this, this stuff, but that's okay. We'll leave it be. Let those cars get through, maybe speed the game up a little. How's that sound? So we've got lots of money, and uh, unfortunately we've uh, taken, well, not really unfortunate that we've taken out a loan, but we've taken out a loan, and, and unfortunately we can't just like immediately pay it back, so that's kind of a shame. But, uh, you know, that's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. Uh, we've got our cars flowing through at a pretty good pace here. I think we need to double up our engine assembly. Was that, uh, was that our, uh, the thing that we planned on doing when we left off? going to say that it is and we're going to uh, go ahead and throw in a couple of uh, belt pieces here so they will head over to this new whoops let's try throwing them in at the correct there we go correct direction and then we're going to go to fit engine and we're just going to throw in one of each of these like that yeah now that's no okay that's not so weird at all is it um, a fit engine assembly, fit radiator, fit exhaust, and a fit wheel assembly down here. And steering assembly is the final piece. We'll put that one there. And we just need to convey all that up, and it'll be good. Convey, convey, there. And finally, the last piece goes right there. And then just some resource conveyors, and they're all on the same side. Oh, there we are, and we just need one up here to make that one work. And there we go, double down on the engine production, so that'll get the cars through even faster. Not that they're coming in fast enough, but well, we can't research QA office yet. We can research power plants, so that probably probably is not a bad idea. What are we researching right now? Um, faster drying? Yeah, I guess. Is that really a is that really a high priority for us? <laughs> I mean, we've already partially researched it, so there's no no need to not research it. I don't think we're backing up anywhere. Do we really have three fit body frames? Was I drunk? Have we, uh, what we need to do is break down this chassis assembly because that is taken 14 minutes per. And uh, right now we are able to handle, I think we're set up to handle seven minutes, maybe, maybe eight minutes for uh, that's seven and a half for that one. So yeah, I think four minutes there these guys are going to be but we have three of them right so 13 minutes gives you four minutes so wow we're set up for four minutes and uh, maybe closer to five and a half minutes in this area um, and uh, over here we're going to be set to four some minutes for that as well so let's let's go to this chassis assembly there it is and we'll knock that one out mm -hmm. i don't need to keep that open and we will speed up our car production considerably. And what kind of car are we making again? Is it the, it's the NATO, the NATO, the Portland NATO. Um, I think, uh, I, I can't rename it, can I? Yeah. So I think with our next car, we'll just go with PMC for Portland Motor Company instead of typing out Portland. That's a more realistic naming convention. I guess we need to definitely increase this fit accessories area down here. Um, I don't think we've broken down our accessory specialization. I, I don't even think we can break down accessory specialization, can we? Uh, so we need to improve fit accessories. That's funny. So that's just like super slow in general, huh? Okay. I don't remember that from the last game, but uh, if you insist. Um, fit accessories. There we go. We're going to need three of those. Um, do I need to get cute trying to put extra ones in there? I'm going to get cute if I can. There we go. We'll just do it like that. Uh, but you are going to need some space. But you know what? We can make we can make space. 
because we'll do it like this. We'll go here, and uh, you know what? We'll go over, and then we'll go down here, and over, and down. There we are. And we just need resources to be brought in to those and uh, resources brought in over there as well. And then we just need conveyors going out. So you're gonna go out, and down, and over, and you're just gonna go down, and we are all set. So there's increased uh, flow through there. Now, that's every two minutes, so that'll be fine. This is every f five and a half minutes, so that's about right for where we're uh, where we're moving. Oh, research already complete on that chassis specialization. That's fantastic. So we've got all of our basic specializations set up. Um, I don't. That's a little advanced. Let's start doing our power production because we've got all that money, and uh, we may as well start producing all of our power. That's a good way to save money. It is funny that uh, we have spare money, and and then uh, we're going to basically implement a. Uh, a uh, way to have more spare money, but you know, it's okay. Um, so let's put this chassis specialization down here. Um, we're gonna go fit axles like that, fit undercarriage. Now, how long do these take? Fit axles takes seven minutes, so we're probably gonna want two of those. Can I fit two of them side by side? Of course I can't. No side-by-sides in this game. Comedy Bang Bang reference there, side-by-sides. Um, and uh, so we've got two of those. That's two minutes, so that's fine. And a fuel tank is four and a half minutes, so we really only need one of each of those. So we're going to do them like that and fit fuel tank right there. And then we'll just run some conveyors up like that, over, up. And you're going to go, whoa, that's not how you're going to go at all. There, no. Uh, come on now. There you go. Good. You're going to go up and over like that. And then you'll just go up and you'll go up. Up and over. Great. And then I will run resource conveyors. I don't know why those are all red. It's, it's very, very creepy. Um, and you're going to go there and you'll go up and over like that. And uh, now we're all set. So. Once this one comes off the line, I mean, it's like it's going to start the new one pretty much immediately, but I'm going to delete it. All right, look at that. Much faster. And so is this causing a backlog? It looks like we are getting a little bit of a backlog here because we're at like 3 minutes and 45 seconds, and this is at 4 minutes and 26 seconds. So I guess I would probably want to do two of those if I really want to... Uh, uh, so I've already I've already kind of introduced a flaw into my plan. Let's pause it, and we're going to clear some of this stuff stuff up. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to. Uh, I'm going to have to just lose one of those. Um, so that is the third step. That's the fit fuel tank, right? So we'll double that one up, like there. And uh, where's the second one? Right there. Beautiful. All right, conveyor, you're going to come out. You're going to split like that and go up and split like that and go up. Looks like those belts are all going properly orientated. And then you'll go there and you'll go there and we're good. Just need resources to come to each of those things. Uh, that's not where they go, but we'll put one there anyways. All right, so you're bringing them in. And uh, we definitely should be able to keep up with all that. Power production is unlocked, so we can start making our own power. Um, probably want to have faster, let's go with some of these faster things here, faster resource imports, sure. And where's our power plant? There it is. Having a pretty good, um, pretty good results keeping our uh, buildings down here. So let's throw some more Let's throw them down here. Power plant. One there. And um, if we do this, and then that, it'll give us a nice solid block. And uh, we're going to do that. And then one there. And then, hmm. I'm not going to be able to have that solid block anymore. 
guess if I do this, I can. Uh, we are almost producing all of our power, and we still have tons and tons of money, so I don't need to worry about that part of it. And uh, that flashing red and white thing meant we were very close to producing all of the power that we need. I'll throw a couple more down there, and, and now we're good. Producing all of our own power, and maybe a little too much. And uh, look at this, we are backing up here at the body frame section. And now the real fun begins with the constant trying to figure out how to beat your choke points. Uh, but I think we're going we're gonna to stick with this being our choke point at the start. And uh, we're going to need to start specializing in those individual pieces like the fit body frame. And probably end up pushing that over into that section. Uh, does this, uh, is this giving us field production per hour too? I'm guessing that we're actually a little higher than that. And I feel like our um, efficiency is probably higher than that as well. So, I, I mean, I guess it's it's probably in taking into account the fact that these are sitting empty for so long. These are sitting empty permanently. So that'll increase our efficiency. Yeah, so right now it's this fit body frame is, is definitely our slow area. Did I set up a new research? I did. Uh, not, not really the one that we need, but it's the one that we're going to have. Oh, and now, now Fit Accessories is it's got way too many stations set up there. Oh well. Too many stations on this side too. They're just not... Our production isn't keeping up, which is really weird since we've increased the production. All right, there is our um, conveyor speed, but we are going to go with body frame specialization, right? I think that was the one that was uh, slowing us down. Yep, fit body frame, good. And then we can throw that. We have a lot of room. So we can kind of maybe run that through here. We could always run it up through here and stuff too, but I think that kind of having it go back and forth through here will work out just fine. It won't take us too long to research that. Cars are starting to slowly accumulate, so that's good. We're, that means we're uh, selling them as fast as we can. I'd rather have a few cars backed up than have no cars in there. Uh, I can clean some of this mess up while we're waiting for uh, our next research to come through. Tidy up our belts a little. Looks like we're doing a pretty good job keeping up with the resource demands. We are going to have uh, considerably higher resource demands once we get this new body frame stuff going. So I may as well set up our uh, set up our next importer and uh, get some conveyors coming out of here. There we go. We'll just do that. We'll run those over. Actually, I could just run that up now. So I don't want to go there. I want to go around that piece like that. It's fine. Nope, not so fine. All right, there it is, body frame specialization. Um, I feel like wheel specialization is one that's really good to to break down, or maybe engine assembly. But you know, let's uh, let's do yeah. How about power plant efficiency? That's a general thing that's not really going to change anything. All right, so I need to keep this conveyor going like that and then like that. Oh, hey, look, it cleaned up that weird uh, corner. That's cool. All right, so um, this is where we're running into problems, right? The fit body frame. Uh, so we're going to go fit body, fit body frame. All right, so we have three minutes, two minutes, two minutes, five minutes, two, and four. So we probably want two fit bumpers. So we're going to do fit roll cage. Just put that right there. And fit hood. Uh, speaking of hood, there's this great show called uh, uh, Banished. Or no, not Banished. Banshee. Um, that is a crazy show. It is on uh, uh, Cinemax. I, I watch it, you know, through Netflix. But... Um, it is or was a Cinemax series. I think it's actually come to its conclusion at this point. 
Um, but uh, if you like just like dumb adventure kind of, I don't know. I mean, it's like a really well-made show. Um, like the, uh, you know, it's got good cinematography and, and the, the, uh, the plots are, you know, they're ridiculous and, and crazy. Uh, but they're also like pretty creative. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you like watching just like really great action scenes and, uh, ridiculous over the top plots, like, uh, I've listened to some interviews from the creators and, and stuff and they intentionally just like basically said, what's the craziest thing we could do here? And then that's what they do. Um, and then they try to make it like as, as realistic as possible. Uh, anyways, that is a great show. It is, um, uh, yeah, it is crazy. Uh, it's about a, this guy escape or it doesn't escape. He gets let out of prison and, um, then, uh, goes to this town in Pennsylvania like to, to meet up with his ex-girlfriend and when he gets there the sheriff um, the brand new sheriff that nobody has ever met before uh, gets killed in a bar fight and so the uh, the escaped convict or the uh, released convict uh, basically adopts that sheriff uh, uh, takes over his uh, identity and he becomes the new sheriff this this former convict and uh oh my gosh it is it is crazy stuff what am i doing wrong here oh that's what i'm doing wrong here um and uh so there's like this amish community that is part of the show and there's a uh uh white supremacist like this this little town of banshee that has like a sheriff and two deputies and that's like the entire police force uh but there's this uh, uh there's a crime lord that lives there and there's an Amish community, and there's a, uh, a white supremacist uh, community outside the town. There's like a military base that they get involved with at some point. Um, it's nuts. It's just craziness. Uh, but it's a it's a pretty fun show. Ah, shit. That's not good. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna take the loss on all those cars. That's too bad. Got so excited talking about Banshee. All right. Anyways, um, yeah, if you like watching uh, 80s style uh, action, um, like you know, like the A Team, or but uh, but really good, like well made, you know. Uh, wait, how, what did I do wrong there? I guess I skipped Fit Trump. That I get for trying to talk. Um, yeah, I got so excited talking about hood. There we go, fit trunk. Uh, so yeah, the point is the sheriff. The sheriff's name is Sheriff Hood, and that's why that's why I thought of it. Available available on Netflix. Need to get need to get a Netflix sponsorship. For, for our video series here. I, I'm quite sure that'll happen. <laughs> the 100 views that I get per day on this series. Eh. All right, you're going to go there and there. Oh, come on. You guys can intersect. I know you can. You understand. We're getting so close. Conveyor, come out and over. Hey, look at that. It's like a big boy. Now, are we going to be able to keep up? It doesn't seem like we're keeping up very well. Three minutes and 26 seconds. And these are, so, yeah. I, well, that whole thing, the uh, fit body was the hold up. So let's see if we're getting these through. Power plant efficiency, that'll kill some time as we load all that up. Um, how about uh, we speed up our resources coming in? That's usually a, usually a slight problem. And then we'll we'll bump up the power plant efficiency uh, with these upgrades. So a little more expensive than they used to be. Uh, but that's okay. I don't mind. We've got money to burn. Even with an outstanding loan, we still have lots and lots of money. Keep keep upgrading those. Do have them in different directions, so it makes it a little more complicated to remember what part to click on or anything. 
doesn't really give us a big boost in uh, power production, though, does it? Like a hundred something for for each one of these. Uh, but you know, I mean, I guess it'll pay off in the long run. I don't even remember what the like. I know the the price of the uh, uh, power plants used to be five thousand, and, and they've upgraded. I think they're like twenty thousand now or something. So if that's the case, then the uh, twenty three hundred fifteen thousand. So twenty three hundred is reasonable. It seems really cheap. I mean, well, compared to five thousand, it seems really expensive to do the upgrade. But compared to uh, fifteen thousand, it seems pretty reasonable. So. We're still producing stuff pretty quick, and we're having uh, uh, bottlenecks down at the at the very start of the production. But we do need to let these cars get through, and we could start doing like additional robots. Although honestly, we're going to be doing more specialization, so I probably shouldn't really be uh, plopping down any robots at this point. I mean, some of the things like, but he, but the stuff that's going to get robots is going to end up being moved too. Like I wouldn't want to throw robots down on our roof manufacturer uh, or the hood manufacturer, I mean not manufacturer but assembly uh, because they're going to be um, oh, why do I only have one of those? Alright, so the roof is five minutes and the door is seven minutes. You'd think I would have put two of those down from the very beginning. There we go, and the conveyor is going to come out. We'll have it actually branch out right there. It's fine. And then you will branch up. Oh, look at that. It's like it knew I was going to connect it back up at some point. Resource conveyor. You can go from here and over to there, and that's good. Actually, you can go up like this, too. Hey, it's trying to trying to lay down some belts. Um resource conveyor there we go and up to there very good so we're not really running into any resource issues I could I could probably speed this process up if I had this just go straight across like that <laughs> I don't know why I had it going in that weird little loop-de-loo there we go good stuff all right they're moving through and Gonna slowly start backing up up here, I think, or not. Where's our Where's our car? Let's follow a car through as we wrap up this episode. Uh, they are kind of backing up over here, so I don't know if I'm gonna follow them through every step of the way. Hmm, backing up all through here too, huh? And almost every step through here. Let's get in, get in nice and close. kind of changes do they go through here what is this that's the fit hood oh oh yeah huh cool and then uh, fit trunk okay that makes a little uh, little difference there and then this is the bumpers so that definitely should be pretty visible but they're still backing up at that point and fit bottom trim that one you don't really notice as much when they do that. I can't see. Oh, okay, you can see that little tiny gray part come on there. And then over here, this is fit arches. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really see the visible difference on that one. I mean, I'm sure there is one. And it could be that, like, those robots are in the way when, uh, when or maybe it's something you can only see from the front. And then there's another queue. It's like a fairly long queue on that one to get their roof put on. Yeah. Five seconds for the roof, so we're gonna probably want to uh, probably want to duplicate that one as well. Because I think we're at like four or four minutes or something for each of them at this uh, early stage. Definitely a big difference once they get those doors put on there, as you would expect. And then a long, long path up here to the painting area. There we go, and then it gets painted up there. And uh, that's just a primer. And then they 
get their final paint coat put on there, finish. Oh, look at that pretty blue car. And then they're going to come out of there. Now we'll keep, keep speeding up our imports for now. As we're just worrying about making money. Oh, and no, this is a very long path where nothing happens. I gotta try to get ahead of that car. There we go, I got ahead of it now. Long, circuitous path over here to the engine thing, which is actually just right next to where they came out over there. Uh, but we need that extra space. And then they're gonna have the engines put on there. Go down through here. Steering wheel assembly. Here comes a nice lime green car. It's another attractive little vehicle as well. Four-door coupe, and it will get some accessories like seats and horns and lights and mirrors and whatnot. And then there's the electronics, maybe a radio of some sort. Come down here. Let's make sure everything is okay on this car. It looks good. Looks good. Let's sell this one. Boom. Showcase. I'm going to lower the price on the NATO. People don't seem so happy paying that much for it right now close it out and then that's going to be the end of this episode so I hope you've enjoyed watching uh, production line with me uh, as usual I had a good time I hope you did too uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think uh, I always like hearing from everybody I sincerely appreciate all of my subscribers and all of the non subscribed viewers as well basically anybody who watches my videos I appreciate you watching and I hope you had a good time I already said that though didn't I um, and I hope you'll come back next time. I will see you then. Bye.